Djibouti Amboli International Airport Arabic, Mtar Djibouti Aldli French, Aéroport International Amboli IATA, JIB, ICAO, HDAM is a joint civilian, military use airport situated in the town of Amboli, Djibouti. It serves the national capital, Djibouti City. The airport is located approximately 6 km 4 miles from the city center. It occupies an area of 10 square kilometers. The airport includes a VIP terminal for prime ministers and presidents. History The airport was opened in 1948. Originally modest sized, the facility grew in the post independence period after numerous successive renovation projects. In the mid 1970s, the airport was enlarged to accommodate more international carriers, with the state owned Air Djibouti providing regular trips to Air Djibouti's various destinations. Djibouti Amboli International Airport has a single terminal building, with one departure gate and one baggage carousel. The largest non-commercial operator using the facility is the Djibouti Air Force, as the airport is located south of Djibouti City and its runways run east-west. An airliner's landing approach is usually directly over the conurbation of the capital when the wind is from the west. In 2004, the airport served 182,641 passengers. Topic: <laughs> Military. In addition to its use as a civilian airport, the following military establishments are located at the Djibouti Amboli International Airport. Military of France formerly the 13th Demi Brigade of the Foreign Legion, French Foreign Legion since 2011 in the UAE. 5th Overseas Interarms Regiment Troops de Marine. Djibouti Air Base, Base Aérienne 188 BA 188 Djibouti. Colonel Massart. French Air Force Base Escadron de Chasse 311 course operating 7 Mirage 2000C and 3 Mirage 2000D Escadron de Transport Dutre Mer 88 Larzac Flying C-160 Transall, Aerospatiale SA-330 Puma and AS-555 Fennec, BA-188 as a Joint Forces Support Establishment, which has numerous support units based there and an anti-aircraft missile section of eight double-barreled 20mm anti-aircraft guns and Mistral firing posts. United States Armed Forces Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Camp Le Manier, formerly a base of the French Foreign Legion, the camp is located on the southern side of the airfield. Djibouti Air Force, located on the southwest side of the airfield. Japan Self-Defense Forces Japan Self-Defense Force Base Djibouti was established in 2009 on a 12 hectare site adjacent to the airport. Two P-3C aircraft and 180 personnel are stationed here. This is the only JSDF base located outside Japan, and is intended to protect Japanese nationals and ships in the region from terrorism and piracy. Italian Air Force Supporting the European Union Naval Force, operating the General Atomics MQ-1 Predator. <laughs> Air Traffic Controllers Controversy According to military officials, U.S. military flights comprised over 50% of the 30,000 departures and arrivals in 2014. Civilian air traffic controllers hired by the Djiboutian government monitor the airspace over Camp Le Manier's runways, unlike other major U.S. military bases. U.S. federal aviation experts suggested that an unprofessional attitude on the part of the controllers potentially imperiled American military and civilian flights to and from the airport. U.S. consultants stationed at the base reported that over a three-month period, the controllers made an average of 2,378 errors per 100,000 aircraft operations, an error rate reportedly 1,700 times greater than the U.S. standard. FAA officials asserted that the controllers' lax attitude, which allegedly included barring drones from taking off or landing, stemmed from a belief on their part that the U.S. drones were unreliable aircraft and dangerous weapons aimed at killing Muslims. The Djibouti government dismissed the air controller safety allegations as exaggerations or fabrications. U.S. Ambassador to Djibouti Tom Kelly likewise indicated that, after asking for further improvements in aviation, progress was being registered at the airport. 
U.S. Navy Captain Kevin Bertelson, the commanding officer at Camp Le Manier, described work at the air base as challenging, but similarly indicated that conditions there had ameliorated. In 2014, the U.S. government also signed a new 20-year lease with the Djibouti authorities to maintain its military base at the airport. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Passenger. Equals 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 cargo. <inaudible>